This is the Reflection of Perfection, the number one selection, TRP. And tonight on Fight Night, we're keeping with the theme of the 1976 United States men's boxing team. And we finally made it. It is now time for Sugar Ray Leonard. That's right. Sugar Ray Leonard needs no introduction in terms of his pro career. But his Olympic career... And the events following that is a little bit of a story here. But first, let's get to his um, his accomplishments. He was the 1973 Golden Gloves lightweight champion. He was the 1973 National AAU light welterweight champion. He was the 1974 Golden Gloves lightweight champ, light welterweight and the AAU champ. He was the 1974 North American champion gold medalist. He was the 1975 junior welterweight champion, AAU. The 1975 North American champion and the 1975 Pan American Games gold medalist at the junior welterweight. In other words, he couldn't be beat anywhere. Now, here's the problem. He was going into the Olympics with a paternity suit. He had a child out of wedlock, and he was going to marry his, his the baby mama. But since he had no money at the time, and she had no money at the time, she had no choice but to file a suit. So, because of the suit, while he was winning the gold medal in the Olympics, he didn't get any endorsement deals after because they wanted nothing to do with a deadbeat dad, even though that wasn't really the case. So, not to mention, both Leonard's parents got sick. So, he basically had no way to support the child or the baby mama, so he had to turn pro out of necessity. Now, Leonard's lawyer managed to scramble around $21,000 to invest into Leonard before his first professional fight. Now, his first professional fight was against Luis Vega. Now Vega was on no, no the fight. Sorry, <clears throat> the fight was on February fifth, nineteen seventy seven. Now, if Leonard were to win, he would get forty grand, which would be more than enough to pay off not only his lawyer but give his baby mama. I think they got married. I'm not sure. I'll have to look that up later. But Leonard had <laughs> so needless to say, Leonard had a lot riding on his first professional fight. So it wasn't like so he was the gold medalist. He had all this publicity, good and bad. And now, let's see how he does in his first professional fight, February 5th, 1977, against Luis Vega. And we're getting right into it. Now, I think this was a six-round fight. Now, Sugar Ray Leonard needs no introduction to his pro race. He's one of the best fighters of all time, pound for pound. So, Luis Vega had never been knocked down in his career at this point. He's got a couple of 10 round fights and uh, some shooters in there with a man with uh, a lot of experience. No, I didn't see that. It does count, Tommy. But it was not a damaging part. That picture on the left leg is, is Ray Jr. That was his three and a half year old son who lived here in attendance and also on his father's uh, death. All right, so it's kind of a double edged story here. All right, so Leonard did marry that woman in 1980, and their six year old son was the ring bearer, so yay on that. The problem was they divorced in 1990. But at least he did marry that woman. So that's good news there. All right, so. Now, Luis Vegas just standing flat-footed in the middle of the ring. Leonard being Leonard. And there's Ray Jr. Ding, ding, in the round one. Luis Toro Vega. 
Oh, that's right. I forgot about that fight. Sugar Ray Leonard's career stats. He faced Dickie Eklund July 18th, 1970. In September 9th, he faced Floyd, Floyd Mayweather here at the Providence Civic Center. <laughs> I forgot about that. I knew about the Eklund fight. I, I forgot about the Mayweather. Ray Leonard was 36 and 3 as a as a professional. Two of those fights were past two of those losses were past his prime. Yeah, so Leonard ba Leonard basically has this guy outclassed two rounds into it. The other guy can't land at all. Now Leonard won the gold medal. As the junior welterweight. And Leonard's just going to town on him. Oh, look at that. Yes, now even though this was Sugar Ray's first fight, he definitely had a lot of polish that most guys didn't. <laughs> yeah, because this Vega guy's just plodding right after him. Now, what is this, 1977? Yeah, Sugar Ray was only 21 years old at the time. No, he wasn't even. He wouldn't turn 21 until, he was, until May. This is February. He was only 20 years old here. Yeah. All right, so Angelo Dundee was his trainer, mostly in name only. Actually, no, yeah, he was, well, no, not really. Uh, the day-to-day -day operation was Jake Jacobs. But Dundee was basically the trainer, like the Mickey, so to speak. Ding, ding, end of the round. Round three, coming up. All right, so I was right. So Angelo Dundee was brought in to be Leonard's trainer and manager. Dundee had a different proposition. He would prescribe the training procedures, but he would leave the day-to-day -day work to Dave Jacobs and James Morton. And he would also choose Leonard's opponents. So that's a little bit of a... Uh, they was handpicked. <laughs> Well, if he handpicked this guy, you know. Well, Luis Vega had never been knocked down, but he's, he's pretty much standing flat-footed, not not doing much. And Leonard has a huge reach. How tall is Leonard? Leonard's five foot ten. Yeah, that's pretty tall for a welterweight. One thing is surprising me. You know, Sugar Ray's yeah, he's about 5'9", 5'10". Luis Vega looks like he's like 5'5". Five, five. Let me look this up. That's not even listed. <laughs> All right, there's Mr. and Mrs. Leonard. Oh! Vega actually landed a shot. Oh, Vega, is he ready to go? He's ready to go. Ah, but Leonard's going to toy with him a little bit. Oh. Nice uppercut. No, Vegas just throwing shots. Blindly shots.
All right, so Leonard basically said he wasn't going to turn pro after after the Olympics. He'd done everything he wanted, but because of his father getting sick, his mother getting sick, he said, all right, I'll, I'll keep fighting to support. They didn't mention the child out of wedlock, but that's okay. Now they're brawling into the ropes. <laughs> He's laughing at him. He's laughing at him. Well, he's giving he's giving the crowd. He's like, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> All right, can't say that wasn't entertaining. All right, here's Sugar Ray Leonard's amateur record: one hundred and forty-five and five, with seventy-five knockouts. And there's Dundee. Yep. Leonard only lost five amateur fights and three professional fights. And like I said, two two of his fights were at, past his prime. Look at this! There's trading blows in the center of the ring. Oh, this is an entertaining fight. Look at Sugar Ray Leonard go! <laughs> Holy crap! With Vegas standing there throwing shots, he's got an iron jaw. Oh, this the crowd loves it. The crowd loves it. <laughs> wow, what a fight. <laughs> that, that exchange went on for about 15 seconds where they're just throwing haymakers at each other. Never been knocked down, never been knocked out. That's going to change eventually, but... Can't say this wasn't entertaining. Oh, oh, oh! Vegas starting to land some shots. <laughs> oh, he's going down! He's going down! Nope, nope, nope. Stay down his feet. Yep. No, well, Vegas, Vegas hanging in there. <laughs> he's got an iron jaw. You imagine that in a real fight? You know, you just throw shots at him. He's like, that, eh, that, eh, that, eh. yeah, yeah. You got any more? You got any more? <laughs> All right, so Vegas busted open on his left eye. Oh, oh, Leonard clocked him with a big left hook. Look at this. They're throwing shots in the center of the ring. Leonard just peppering them. But no, Vega will not go down. And now Vega's fighting back. <laughs> you won't have to fight every day anymore. <laughs> but it kills us. This step right around is going to kill us. <laughs> 
A man that carries a purse ain't afraid of anybody. That's good advice. <laughs> Well, Leonard's just tagging him and tagging him and tagging him, but Vega is not going down. Well, that's right. This is only six rounds. <clears throat> this is only six rounds. <clears throat> Fifteen seconds left. Twenty dollar ringside tickets for this fight. In those days, that was a lot of money, <clears throat> especially for a non-championship fight. Ding ding! End of the round. <laughs> Look at Leonard. He's just winking. He's at, he's smiling. He's having a good time. Ding, ding. Here we go. Round six. There we go. Final round. Well, I'll give credit. You know, Larry, uh, Luis Vega may be a bum, but at least he stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with Sugar Ray and didn't give an inch. Can't say the same Roberto Duran in their second fight. <laughs> Look at him. Look at Vega go. <laughs> All right, he just talked about the Howard Davis fight where he dominated his opponent. What are you? What did you watch? Howard Davis got... He had to knock him down in the ninth round just to get the decision. Unless they're talking about the Olympics, in which case, yeah, Howard Davis was the, the trophy winner, the MVP. Oh, Sugar Ray landing a lot of combination shots. <laughs> Just think the future that Sugar Ray Lennon has in boxing. Oh, you call that one. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, you call that one. And Vega, Vega, he's fighting his way out of the corner. Now, <laughs> 
Ding, ding, ding. And that's it. <clears throat> that's it. Ray Leonard must have won this fight for sure. <laughs> and these are, yeah, he, yeah he, he just won 40 grand. <laughs> Which may, may seem, may not seem like much in today's money, but this is 1977. And he needed 21 grand to pay off the investments. And there's this kid he's got to support, so... There you go. And they're interviewing Leonard. So Leonard is announced the winner by unanimous decision. Yep, he won his first fight. He pays off his investors and he's off and running. All right, so let's shut that off. All right, that was Sugar Ray Leonard's first professional fight. He had a lot more riding on it than a lot of other people in their first fights. So that was pretty damn good. So, good on Sugar Ray for uh, doing the right thing. So, what more can be said about his professional career? You're going to be seeing a lot of him on fight night. Tr trust me on that. But in terms of his amateur career, he was almost unbeatable as an amateur. And so, bus begins the ride of Sugar Ray Leonard. I don't have to say anything else. <laughs> Except for thank you for your service on the Olympic team, the gold medal, and until next time, fight fans, see you then. <laughs> right.